Good morning everyone and happy Thursday. So today I've got a rather exciting morning that I wanted to share with you guys because it's a bit, a bit of a big moment for me. Um, so the time's currently 10 past 10 and I'm just sitting down to get ready to be a guest speaker on a reward style webinar, which I'm so, so excited about. So if you don't know Reward Style, they are the company that I use for my affiliate links. So anytime that you shop an item um, or like click a link through me, then it will like go through Reward Style. And it means I make a small commission. It's no different to, you know, going into Debenhams, all of the Debenhams employees make a small commission and it doesn't affect your purchase. It doesn't make the purchase price any higher, makes no difference to you whatsoever. It just kind of is almost like a little thank you for like me and inspiring that purchase if you know what I mean um so yeah I use reward star if you are like a fellow blogger or content creator or anything I would definitely definitely recommend signing up to reward styles like emails and um their webinars and stuff because they are so so useful I have tuned into so many of their webinars throughout the last year and I have learned some really really great tricks and like tips from them which is so it's just like I feel like in this industry you're never not learning like I have been in this industry since 2013 so what is that eight years and I'm still learning new things um so yeah today we're going to be focusing on Pinterest which is really really exciting because I love Pinterest it's one that I have really really grown to love and I know a lot of you guys that come over and follow me actually find me through Pinterest now which is always really really exciting I always get so many comments like I found you through Pinterest and I'm so glad like I found you because I was like searching my petite style on Pinterest and like that's how I discovered your YouTube or your Instagram and I'm like oh guys so yeah i'm really really excited to be hosting this i'm a little bit nervous because there is quite like a few hundred people who are on these webinars um so i just all i'm gonna think of it is like it's just me on zoom chatting to a friend because sarah who is hosting the webinar i know her really really well now she's such a sweetheart so I'm just thinking of me and Sarah just having a conversation. That's all it's going to be. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys because I'm really, really excited about it this morning. And I just hope I don't mess up. <laughs> Using this to your advantage and ensuring you're acting as a hybrid for all platforms with a clear call to action that converts. Category. If you see that women's active wear is one of your top subcategories in women's fashion. Hey, thank you so much for having me. We're so happy you're here. So from the beginning, please, can you tell us a little bit about how you started as an influencer and growing your business? Yeah, so I actually started quite a long time ago, back as a hobby in about 2013. I was at school and basically wasn't getting any kind of creative inspiration from school and I wanted something to have as a bit of an outlet. Oh, that went so, so well. That was really, really fun. A lot of people sent in some really great questions. Um, I always get worried that like I don't answer the question properly because you guys know what I like, I ramble, but hopefully we answer the questions properly. Um, and I was chatting to the, the reward style girls beforehand and they were telling me that they have a um, kind of like a referral system, which I had no idea about. This is what I mean when I say, no matter how long you're in this industry, there's never a day where you don't learn something. Um, but what I will do is I will leave down below, if you are a blogger or a content creator, if you're on Instagram and you're wanting to sign up to Reward Style, use my referral down below, because I think we both, we both benefit from it. So um, yeah, and I would definitely recommend if you are looking into it, if you're looking into just kind of like monetizing and um, looking into a kind of, um, commission platform reward stuff's definitely the best one um so i'll leave down below how you can do that um but yeah i am gonna go change now because i'm not gonna lie i have been sweating throughout that webinar like you know when you get cold sweats um yeah that was me throughout the entire webinar so i'm definitely gonna have to change before i head out for lunch today I'm really bad at updating you guys since the webinar this morning um so things have changed <laughs> i'm now in london and i'm going to lunch with a friend of mine which i'm so so excited about we've not seen each other in like 
how long has it been? Like six months? So, so long. So, we are currently at Onsberger, which you guys know. Got a person in there, sorry. Um, we're at Onsberger, which I am such a huge fan of. Like, you guys know how much I love the Honest Burgers, mainly because they do the best gluten free burger I've ever eaten in my life. And I just happily, happily say that. Partially because the amount of places I've been to that have said it's a gluten free burger, which is a bag without bun, that's not a gluten free burger. <laughs> Thank you very much. So they do really, really good gluten-free burgers. So I'll show you what we're getting. Uh, so I've been very, very been kindly offered to have a voice lunch here, which is just a dream of mine, absolute dream. So I will show you when it arrives. I apologize in advance for making you hungry, but I'm absolutely starving right now. Okay, so food has just arrived and I'm literally just, oh, it smells so good. So I have gone for the chicken with gluten-free bun, of course. And Alice has gone for, sorry, do you mind me touching? Not at all. <laughs> Little beef burger. Oh, it looks so, so good. Sorry if that made you hungry, but. I've left the Honest Burger now, and I have a new friend with me. Say hi. <laughs> Look who it is. With Charlotte. Um, actually, you vlogged a little trip, a little day of ours recently, yeah. didn't you? If you haven't seen Charlotte, like, vlog, she did a little vlog of our shoe day, which was really, really fun. Um, and I look hilarious in all the clips, because I'm, like, in between. <laughs> and I'm also in between outfits, so, like, I'll have, like, a pretty dress on, because I was cold, I, like, shoved on, like, a bomber jacket, and it just did not work. So if you want to see me looking like a twat, go and head over to Charlotte. It's a, it's a really random place. Yeah, but that's fun. I love it. I love it. We love being out and about. It's very exciting and attached to be out. So we're now having a little drink at the Ivy by Comic Garden. So I was at Honest Burger by Leicester Square. We're now in Comic Garden, which in all honesty, I didn't realise how close they were together in my head. In my head, they're quite far apart, but they're not. Um, so we just walked over and it's just really, really nice. So we're going to grab a quick drink, have a little catch up because we haven't seen each other in like a couple of weeks and we've missed each other. So got to get those stories <laughs> <laughs> cheers birthday drinks cheers. I have to say goodbye to Charlotte now I'm really sad Bye. we had such lovely drinks love it was you. at the Ivy did I say it was at the Ivy I can't remember yeah, but it was so nice so um bye. Bye. bye good morning good morning good morning today I have a very exciting day planned and I thought I would take you guys along with me so today we're heading shopping. Holly and I are heading into Westfields and I am so, so excited because we haven't had a girls shopping day in a long time. I think Bista was our last girls shopping day, which was a long time ago now, like maybe the start of May. So about a month ago, we haven't had like a proper just day out, like chilling together, shopping, doing all that fun stuff. So I thought I would take you guys along with me because I am going to be getting a little bit spenny. I might be treating myself to a few little things because obviously around your birthday you can't not treat yourself to lots of little things like i my favorite kind of birthday presents are the to me love me kind of birthday presents so i thought i would take you along with us you can help me decide what to get spenny on what we're going to be picking up i think holly has got her eye on a little prada baby as always holly literally loves prada it's so funny whenever i text her, like so what, what have you got your eye and she's like there's this new prada bag i'm like of course there is um so yeah we're going to be heading into westfield in london which should be so so fun i've not been to westfields in years so i thought it would be really really nice just to spend the day together go shopping as a little like birthday treat um we're gonna grab lunch and all that jazz so let's get going also, please excuse the mess behind me, but just in case you're wondering what I'm wearing, I have got on my favourite little H&M dress from the Brooke Collection X H&M, and I absolutely love it. I'm just wearing it with my little vasias because when do I wear anything else? You can really tell that I've been in a little bit of a rush this morning because we've got <laughs> hairsprays and dry shampoos over there. We've got clothes thrown over the, um, <laughs> the sofa bed, but we're off. We're going to have a nice day shopping, and this stuff can all be sorted when I get home. Look who's here! Oh, look who it is. We've just arrived at um, Westfield now. We've parked up. We're going to go in. I thought I would just... Ready um, so ready. thought I would just check in quickly before we have to put masks on because once they're on, they're pretty much just not going to come off for the rest no, of the day. No, yeah, I'm worried for me. I don't really know why I bother putting on lipstick. <laughs> no, I know. It's like the whole of this is just getting rubbed off immediately. <laughs> but yeah, so what are we after today, Hull? Um, I'm going to get some concealer, oh some makeup. I'm going to have a cheeky looking Zara as well because obviously... And oh, then we are going to Zara. into Prada no. and maybe Coach. 
Oh yeah, definitely. So, definitely like to check out Coach Pia. I mainly in the mood for like makeup y bits today. I feel like I haven't updated my makeup stash in a while and I've seen lots of things that are like inspiring me. So I'm feeling hitting the makeup counters, which will be fun. But uh, yeah, let's get shopping. Okay, first stop, of course, cup of coffee. This is my first coffee of the day, so I'm not gonna lie, I am struggling. But it's actually really quiet. I don't know if it's gonna get busier later. Um, currently it's really quiet, which is very nice because it means that we can have a walk around, have a look in the shops. I think we also need to hit the boots because <laughs> me and Holly both have the smallest bladders in the world. Um, but yeah, gonna down my coffee and get the yummy bean juice in my system. Travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart. shopping trip wasn't it it was that was really we fun quite a lot i am shattered absolutely shattered i'm tired as well i've even got like a coffee this is my fourth one of the day so i'm really proud of you proud of me <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel like you normally have about six in a day you, you're probably right i check i tend not to check it's just like you so horrendous can i just say so we just wanted to quickly vlog because I am trying Little Moons for the first time. So they are mochi This is ice not cream my bowls. first time. Yeah, you've had them before. <laughs> yeah, but I you've not them. had fresh ones. I've not had fresh ones. We only had the freezer ones that you can buy at like Waitrose. But I've well. never even had those. So, so this is that means you're more of a basic dish than I am. <laughs> yeah, I think so. 
<laughs> I love little Guys, so I joke. Much. I'm like the biggest basic bitch, you all know. So, I thought we could vlog us trying them for the first time. Very exciting. Yummy. Okay, so I picked up one raspberry and one mango. You got chocolate. That looks really dodge. It just looks like a little ball of <laughs> It's a bit dodge. This one's vegan chocolate, and then I got pistachio and strawberry, and you got mango and raspberry. So we're gonna give them a go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I don't know how I feel. I don't know if I like. I love them so much. <laughs> They're so good. I don't like the outer coat. Why is the outer coat weird? It's like chewy. Mm. I don't know if I like that. You don't know? It's like no. a cakey type thing. It's like a cake pop, but like it Japanese. It is. It's like a cake pop with ice cream inside. Mm. And I can't this is the vegan chocolate. And uh, okay. it, this one was almost sold out. And I can understand why. What's that this one now? Good. This is raspberry. Uh, I prefer the raspberry. Oh, it looks nice inside. Oh, it's pretty. You're very pink. Mm. It's focusing on your face. <laughs> I'm sorry. My moon face. <laughs> Literally. Mm. I'm going to try the strawberry one because I've never tried that one either. The, the Oh, this one's really melted. That's raspberry. No, I got strawberry. I didn't see strawberry. Oh, strawberry and cream. Yeah. Alpha. Oh, no. It's really, like, it's like really melted. Uh, oh. I'm glad I tried them. Um, the pistachio ones are though. It's basically just fruit sorbet with a weird coating. Yeah. So I'm going to give that a 4 out of 10. 10 out of 10. The four for me was <laughs> purely for the ice cream. Mm. It's probably just cheaper just to buy a scoop of sorbet. Mm. They are expensive. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. How much was yours? Like four pounds for three. I think mine's were like 3.50 for two. Mm. It's just a little bit expensive. Um, so there we go, that's the verdict. Right, let's go home. Let's go home, yeah? I'm not looking fresh. <laughs> so we are back from Westfield now that was such a fun day I won't lie I did not expect it to be there for so long like I thought I'd probably you know we'd be there for a couple of hours have a bit of a wonder then head home we were there almost all day like genuinely I can't believe how long we stayed for it was so so lovely and if you can't tell I'm very very warm like it was really hot in Westfield um you know by the end of it there was lots of bodies around like I'm so glad that we arrived early because it was dead first thing but as soon as lunchtime hit uh, it was just there was a lot of people around so if you are thinking of heading into Westfield definitely go sooner rather than later like earlier in the morning the better I think it opens at 10 we got there about quarter past half past 10 um, and yeah it was literally dead in the morning and heaving by the time that we left but we had such a good day it was so nice just to have a bit of a girls day a bit of a shopping trip a little bit of a birthday shopping trip which was so so much fun and yeah so I thought now that I'm home, I've got my bags set up around me, I would show you what I picked up and do a little bit of a Westfield shopping trip haul. So I'm gonna start with this one right here. Got a little NARS bag here. So I actually only picked up one thing from NARS and that is the Afterglow lip balm. This is literally my fave thing in the world, you guys know. I wear it so much. I often get asked about my lip combo um, and to be perfectly honest, 90% of the time it is this product paired with the lip liner that I'm about to show you from Clinique. But I absolutely love this. This is the Orgasm shade um, lip balm. So, so nice. It's like really buttery and it's a really, really nice, like it is a genuinely a lip balm in the sense of you do have to top it up maybe like once or twice a day. Like if you're gonna eat or drink, you do have to top it up, but it pairs so, so nicely with just like a lip liner. Um, if you've got something a bit more natural and if you want to look like a little bit like your lips but better kind of thing, I love this. And especially I find sometimes like your lips could but better can be really difficult on me because because I'm quite pale like I have quite pale lips sometimes it can be a bit difficult to find like the perfect like so I picked up another one of those they are my absolute favorites and then the lip line that I always pair with it is a little Clinique number so I picked up two because I'm not gonna lie I constantly lose them and I feel like I need to have a lot of lip liners around like I need one in my makeup stash I need one in my makeup bag I need one in my handbag like I always love to have lots around so this is the quick liner in the shade Intense sassafras, sassafras. 
I will link it down below. Intense Sassafras, I believe this is called. Um, so it's just a really, really light, nudie shade. I've got it on right now. It is absolutely perfect. I really, really like it for like a nice little natural lip line. And I find that just lining your lips really can like add that definition if you guys know. I think I've spoken about this before. I don't really have very big lips and I sometimes find that, especially if I'm not wearing makeup or if I'm wearing makeup and no lip liner, they can kind of blend into my face and that is obviously not cute. So I like to just line my lips just to kind of add a little bit of definition. Um, and then I also picked up from Clinique a new Take the Day Off Balm because I cannot be without these. I absolutely love them. I have like at least two in my stash because... I ran out once and I honestly think I nearly had a heart attack. And then because I bought a couple of things, they were really kind of gave me a little gift with purchase. Um, this is a Donald Axe Clinique makeup bag. And then in here we have a few things. We've got all about clean rinse off foaming cleanser. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to send this one straight like to a friend because I hate foaming cleansers. I can't deal with them. Um, we do have the Moisture Surge Overnight Mask app absolutely love this bad boy it's so so good if you really want just like a hit of moisture it's absolutely amazing for that and then we've also got oh a nice chubby stick it's quite a deep shade i don't really know if i'll get much use out of that then we also have clarifying lotion twice a day exfoliator which sounds lovely we've got a mini mascara which i think is always really handy and then a lovely that's a very nice shade. I think my mum would really like that. I might give that to her. A really, really nice lipstick. So it's always really nice when you get a little gift with purchase. I feel like it just makes it like a little bit more special. So let me put all these back in because I feel like I've made a massive mess taking it all out. And then moving on to my next purchase from Monkey, which I actually have a few other pieces from Monkey that are coming at the moment that I ordered online. So I will show you them show you them soon um but one thing that i ordered in store which i always find you kind of have to be in store to see and like be able to visualize is swimming costumes so i won't lie i didn't think i was going to be going anywhere this year so i didn't really buy any swimming costumes and now suddenly the kind of prospect of some holidays and i think i've spoken about this a couple of times a family wedding that alex and i have got in portofino actually happening is becoming a bit more of a reality which is kind of crazy so i wanted to pick up a new little swimming costume which i thought this was so so cute it's like this sage green one i'm obviously not going to be trying it on because we're not really that kind of channel over here um but i really really love it it's just this one piece i love one piece it's like i live in them in all honesty in like whenever i'm on holiday and i'm like by the port i just find them a lot more comfortable than bikinis i feel a lot more like secure and held in and also less sun creaming so it's great um and it's got this really cute little like scooped back so i'll link that down below i think it's really really cute i obviously picked that up in a medium um and i also quite like that there's quite full briefs like i really hate it when it's like a proper brazilian bikini bottom i am not i'm not really about that vibe so yeah really glad that i picked that up because the prospect of going on holiday is becoming more and more real and i'm very very excited about that prospect then we have a little purchase from West Elm. One of my favourite things about going to Westfields is the fact that there is a West Elm there, like an in-store West Elm. And I love West Elm, but I do find sometimes their website can be a little bit tricky to, to navigate. I always love going into home stores and seeing things in person. So we had a big one around Zara, a big one around H&M Home. And the one that I got pulled into was West Elm. So I picked up the cutest little vase i'm so obsessed with this i have quite a few like pampas grass kind of like things that need vases at the moment and i don't have any new vases so i saw this and i just thought this is so cute it's like got this like beveled edge i will see if i can find it online and i thought it wasn't actually too pricey especially for west elm i do find in terms of like homeware prices i feel like h and obviously on the lower scale zara homes like a bit mid-tier and then west elm can be quite expensive but this was actually only 29.99 which i don't think is too bad for like a really high quality well-made vase and i just think this is so so cute definitely goes with my decor like as you guys know my decor is very neutral but i just thought this would be so cute and some pampas grass in it i thought it would look really really nice so i'm really excited to style that up around the flats and then you might notice we have a couple of little bags sitting over here just minding their own business looking cute so i picked up a couple of little things from both dior beauty and chanel beauty and i feel like i haven't done some like beauty shopping in a long long time one of the things about this job which obviously is 
absolutely amazing is the fact that we get sent so many like beauty products and new launches and things to try and I always love that but it does also mean that sometimes like I don't get the chance just to go and have a wander around a beauty counter and try things and talk to the makeup artists and just like pick things up on my own accord so I thought you know what now's the time to do that and there was two things that are kind of the same product that I picked up from each brand but I'm justifying it with the sense that they are quite different so the Dior bronzer I know guys I know I just couldn't resist this packaging is absolutely stunning look at that is that not just the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? I'm actually a little bit scared to use it because I feel like, you know, when you've got foundation fingers or like you put your makeup on and your hands get a bit mucky and you like touch stuff like this. Oh, I'm a little bit worried about that. But look at how stunning this is. It's so, so gorgeous. It's coming up a bit darker on camera. Let's see if I can get you to focus. It's coming up a little bit darker on camera than it is in real life, but this is the shade 03 Soft Bronze. So I think they go from one to six maybe correct me if i'm wrong um but this is kind of like obviously in the middle because i didn't want something too dark so obviously i'm a bit pale but i did want something a little bit warmer i have been finding that my laguna bronze i don't know what it is but i've been feeling like it's looking a little bit ashy on my skin and i wanted to try something new so i picked this one up because i thought it's much warmer toned and i thought it'd look really really nice also in terms of one to six I would definitely recommend, I mean I will link obviously everything down below in the description box that I can find but I would also, if you can, I would recommend going in store and talking to a makeup artist because I had to swatch about two or three different shades on my hand before I picked this one because it's not just about like one is the lightest, six is the darkest, like they have very different undertones, they have very different kind of like warmths and coolnesses so I definitely recommend if you can going in store and then from Chanel. Now you might think Ellie you've just bought two of basically the same product but they're definitely not because the Chanel one is very very different. So I picked up a new tan de Chanel. I just couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. I have not used, oh it's not called Liz Tan de Chanel, it's now called the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. Maybe because the Soleil Tan de Chanel, whatever it was called, was just a bit too confusing. Um, but I picked this up and I'm so excited. I've not used one in absolutely years. Um, it's one of those things where I used to love it and then I went off it a bit. But one of the reasons why I picked it up again is because I feel like in summer, like when the weather starts to get a bit warmer, a cream bronzer is so much better than like a powder bronzer. I feel like it just sits on your skin a bit better, makes you look really healthy and dewy and glowy. And yeah, so they have two shades in this and I obviously picked up the lighter shade. And I absolutely love it. I think it's so, so lovely. And one thing that the makeup artist was actually saying is that if you've, I don't know, fake tan and not fake tanned your face, or if you've maybe put sun cream on and it's kind of like left a bit of a white cast, this is great to literally add, the, you know, dip your brush in just the tiniest bit and just rub it around your entire face for a really, really healthy glow. And she just sold me, absolutely sold me. I was like, I've not used it in so many years and I really really want to pick it up so yes i know we have two bronzers here but i feel like they're very different bronzers so i feel like it's totally justified and i can't wait to get using them and i can't wait to get testing them and trying them out and seeing how they sit on my skin and how i can like build them up and one thing that i do quite like is i do feel like i could probably build them together like if i want to have a bit of a healthy glow and like a little bit of a bronze i can just go for the tan de chanel but if i want something a little bit more like contoured and like chiseled and a little bit deeper i can add in the dior soft bronze and natural bronzer so yeah very excited about those a little bit of a bougie makeup purchase but I've, which i've not done in a long long time like i haven't treated myself to a new makeup purchase in ages so i'm really really excited about that so yeah that's my little my little westfield haul i really hope you guys enjoyed it coming along with us coming on a little shopping trip i know this vlog has been a couple of days basically a couple of days of birthday celebrations which we all know that is like just the cardinal rule if you're a girl in the uk is that you can't celebrate your birthday on one day you have to celebrate it on multiple days with multiple meals and multiple drinks and multiple people so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video the next one that will be coming will be my what i got for my birthday video so make sure you're subscribed for that and i'll see you in my next one